Franco, we're here in front of what is a scale model of a military airplane that is in the LSA market. Just tell us a little bit about the airplane that you brought to Sebring. Fly Legend Italia, it's a factory in Sicily that started off making the 70% scale replica of the original Embraer Tucano. They started with the replica with retractable gear and variable pitch propeller and then after a while they decided to adapt that replica to the LSA market. So for the first time we have the first SLSA Tucano replica here in the States. Tell us a little bit about the flying characteristics of the airplane. The characteristics, Flight characteristics are actually pretty good. The airplane is really responsive and maneuverable even though it may look a little bit heavy. The empty weight of this particular airplane is about 815 pounds. The airplane is capable of a cruising speed of about 130 knots, even though for the LSA version we had to derate a little bit the speed to 120 knots with the change in the propeller. Other than that, the airplane flies great, it's really fun to fly and it's really maneuverable and responsive. Do you find that people enjoy the, the two-place tandem arrangement? Does it give them more of a feel of maybe being in a military airplane? That is the main purpose of the factory. They started off as a factory of replica airplanes, so they can give people the opportunity to get the sensation of flying a warbird, even though they cannot do it in the real life. So that's why they started off making these replicas. And for the same reason, they developed a plus six minus three version of the airplane, capable of basic aerobatics, with the chance of putting a little bit more powerful engines than the 912 or the 914 exactly for those reasons, to get more the feeling of flying an airplane which is like a Tucano or any other Warbird. Uh. For the LSA version, what is the engine and um, what, what are some of the performance spec specifications? We're installing a 912 100 horsepower carbureted version of the Rotax engine and with this engine we get a climb of about 900 feet per minute but still speeds of 120 knots even though the airplane is capable of stalling at 35 knots. Dirty. We also have the chance to install the 914 Rotax and the 912 IS Sport. So what are your distribution plans for the US market? We are looking for an importer for the USA market and for dealers probably maximum of five that take care of different regions of the states. In the meantime, we established a company here in the states took care of all the certification for the LSA and we also started the certification and all the paperwork for the certification for the experimental amateur build. And right now the airplane is based in Archer City, Texas, which is more or less in the Dallas area. What are we looking at as far as price is concerned? For the LSA, we have the ready to fly price, which is starting from $125,000. While for the experimental amateur build, we sell different versions of the kit. The price may vary from $45,000 to $65,000. Which answers my next question, but you will be offering the kit built version of the airplane? That's going to be the idea. The LSA version we are selling it as a ready to fly or as a kit version. So you can certify it as a SLSA or as an experimental SLSA, while the experimental amateur build is going to be the complete replica and that's going to be just selling by kit. Well, I'll try my very rudimentary Italian. Grazie. Uh, we appreciate your time. There you go. There and uh, <laughs> you appreciate welcome. your time. There you go. Thank you. <laughs>since 2001, MGL Avionics has produced avionics for experimental and light sport aircraft. The flagship product is the IEFIS, a comprehensive next-generation flight, engine, and navigation instrument designed to meet the demands of the modern pilot. See more at www.mglavionics.com.